Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Assassin's Creed Unity. I am your host. Uh, someone who's actually streamed basically every AC game except for these two. Not counting the side games, which don't count. Um, sadly, we've only reviewed none of them, so this will actually be our very first Assassin's Creed review. That should be fun. I do want to say shoutouts and thank you to Carbon Cry, Martin, Nerdman3000, Pico40000, Star Trek 1234, Thy End of Line, excuse me, Thy End of The Line, Valkorian 99, Bragwin, Churchy 0712, Myron 97, Sildeer, Volcanto, Firehawk 89, Jason Bauer 1357, Love Baltazar, Command and Conquer 2, Overseer USA, XX Venom SNM XX, the Blackout 00, Zero, and Tim and Ash. Thank you all of you very, very much for your support. But I also want to say special shout-outs and thank you to Danka Wanka, Donka Wanka, Danka Wanka, or Donka Wanka for the pers being the person who actually put this on the books. And special shout-outs again to Jason Bauer and Tim and Ash. I know I just mentioned them uh, for being the majority shareholders of this run. This one was funded a bit ago. <laughs> so this is... I just, this is one of those games where I had some of the resources jotted down, but not all of them. This is in the transitionary phase here, is when this one got funded. By contrast, the next game was after the transitionary phase, but we'll get there in a minute. Either way, we're talking about Assassin's Creed Unity. Now, again, I've never played this game. That's why this is a premiere run. Not according to my notes, Nerman. <laughs> Now, my notes may be wrong. Again, this was in the transitionary period, but uh, you didn't put much... Hmm. I have no idea, Nerdman. <laughs> let, let me put it to you that way. I know you're not the person who requested uh, Syndicate, because that was styled here. Yeah, you're the fourth person I have on my list, and you only put two subs towards it, Nerdman. But anyways, before we get started, uh, again, this is our first Assassin's Creed game we're reviewing, so this should be interesting. We're going to be establishing a lot of precedents when it comes to how we review Assassin's Creed games going forward. Fortunately, we just reviewed an Assassin's Creed game, so we've already got several precedences already set, so that's cool. I do want to share one thing, though. I was looking up bits about the game because, you know, we need to talk about the launch of the game, and I found a quote, which I have to share here. Assassin's Creed Unity is smearing the Great Revolution. Wait, I'm sorry, hang on. Regarding Assassin's Creed Unity, smearing the Great Revolution is dirty work that aims to instill the French with even more self-loathing and talk of decline. If we continue like this, no common identity will remain possible for the French beside religion and skin color. You see, the game is conveying counter-revolutionary cliches that have been forged for two centuries. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it's okay. Just about every single Assassin's Creed game has one little anecdote about someone somewhere who got upset about it. <sighs> so, launch! We need to talk about the AC Unity launch. Now, I've actually done uh, some research this morning by looking into this, and um doesn't seem all that bad. Have we reviewed Origins? Huh, we did review Origins three years ago. Anyways, this is the first real Assassin's Creed game we're reviewing. So I'm going to stand by my statement. No, really. Origins and Odyssey are not AC games in the strictest sense of the word. They, they were trying for a completely new format and functionality. The gameplay is different. The climbing is different. The mission structures are different. The plot style is different. The, so I stand by my statement. This is still the first AC game that we're actually reviewing. <laughs> Which is why I said that originally. I wasn't even thinking about Origins and Odyssey as AC games. Now, that is my fault. I'll, I'll give you that. But anyways. <clears throat> so, launch. How bad was the launch? And I was doing my research before I got distracted twice by chat. You guys are awesome. That uh, to determine whether or not this game qualifies as a negative to launch. Hmm. 
so no is the answer <laughs> i haven't seen anything with regards to the launch that really sounds like it qualifies for a negative for launch some pretty bad graphics bugs the occasional glitch glitching through the ground kind of stuff things like that but uh nothing i've seen that actually qualifies for that bad of a launch my opinion nothing that is uh game breaking nothing that is crash heavy nothing nothing as non-stop cavalcade of ridiculous like cyberpunk etc 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 we can argue this of course i wasn't there so we're kind of going off of historical records basically but i i see nothing that really qualifies as a negative to launch sorry Cyberpunk actually almost didn't get that negative, if you guys are remembering that. It was only the sheer cavalcade, the, the sheer quantity of it, that finally pushed it over the line for unacceptable launch. <sighs> Thank you, Wraith. Very, very much, as always. Thank you. I'll put that towards FF6 on the SNES. Uh, possibly Tim and Ash? I don't really have a way to track that. <laughs> You'd think I would. But I don't. So. Thank you for funding this run. By the way, this is one of those mutes when you all tab games, so. Alright, so I need to start a new game. Can I, like, just start a new game? That's probably not a thing I can do with it. Let's find out what happens when we hit this button. No, nope, it's not going to show the intro again. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Let's do this. That should do it. Okay, why is this so quiet? Is that me? No, nope, my volume's normal. Who goes there? A friend of the temple. What? Is this lowered? Hang on, sorry. What the hell? Nope, that's at full volume too. Okay. The council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. And why are... King Philip disagrees. Hang on. Thankfully, this game does have skippable cutscenes, as I've already determined. Wow, and the voice is cranked! The subtitles are off for some reason. I'm not sure why they're off. Why is the game so quiet? I... It doesn't work that way, Tesla. It's literally as loud as it can get, for you anyways. I mean, I could turn my volume up, but it wouldn't change your volume at all. It is already at max for the stream. Hang on. Really? Oh my god. Alright, so, hang on. Let's see if that's actually it. Um, I may not be able to change that. Um, Star Trek 6 Von Falkenstein It's the only Star Trek whose music I can think of Off the top of my head Other than 8 No, I know it, I actually think I know it's doing it I don't know how to fix that though 
I'm not sure it is fixable. Um Yeah, I don't I don't think there's a way to fix that. What do you think about this? Hair, one winged angel, easy answer. Thank you, Slime Time. Very, very much, as always. If you know where you want that one to go, please let me know. Oops. Oh, hang on, I just noticed that's actually a year subscription. So thank you again, Slime Time, for supporting me for a full year. You are awesome. Thank you, and welcome to the Year Club. Shadowlands, you got it. I mean, I don't think this is going to fix it, but sure. We'll laugh if it does. What about the air gum gum? No. Who goes there? Okay, so if I am understanding the Reddit threads correctly, the problem here is that this game doesn't support surround sound. So it doesn't know how to deal with surround sound output. The problem is I don't know how to not be on surround sound. Like, it's, it's just kind of where I am. Like, that's, I just, I, I just have headphones plugged in. <laughs> you know, to my motherboard. I don't actually have a, a sound card, a next, uh, separate sound card. Hmm. <sighs> That's true, I could just be sitting here in silence and that might fix it. <laughs> Wouldn't change anything for you guys, again. It doesn't help. Um, okay. <sighs> Thank you, as always, Meat Fist. And that is something that the AC team tends to be good at. Yeah, it's weird, when I don't have my headphones in, I can't hear anything. I know, it, it's shocking. Uh, which Yakuza, Meat Fist? There are several. So I need slightly more clarification on that. This is actually the first game I've run into that issue with. Ever, by the way. I... Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be... I don't think that's fixable. Yakuza Kiwami 2, you got it. Okay, whatever. Flauerak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. I already did that, Hashirama. Didn't do anything. Didn't think it would, but I tried it, just to be sure. 
I do like to be thorough. Sorry, one moment. I've been informed of a glitch on the website and I have to figure out what it is. Where is it? Where is it? Aha! How did that happen? Strong is still what I use, and it still works. I don't even know what else I would use. Off the top of my head. Uh, the way I used to do it when I was programming was just B, but B doesn't work anymore. There you go. It's fixed. Well, it's not so much not wanting to choose so much as it doesn't really work that way, per se. Like, <laughs> you know? A moon has different local laws and local jurisdictions than a station, has lo different ju jurisdictions than a colony and the distant edge of the universe which has different local jurisdictions than the core planets. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. Stutter, stutter. More stuttering. We are betrayed. Try our swords, men! Defend the temple! Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Massa, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague less easily eradicated. Oh, the assassins, Trihexia. Which is funny, because I'd be a Templar. But I'm more assassin than Templar. I hope it only is stuttery during cutscene. She's Louise. Hey, a mini map. I forgot how much I like a mini map. Ah, we'll try it, Nerdman. What do we got? So you guys can actually hear it. Uh, we'll look into that later. Yeah, I already commented on that gum gum. Although it was only two people. I'm not sure if that qualifies as France. I think France is slightly more than two people. Mm, yes, Jaludo. This is one of their big ones. They were doing the big ones and the off ones, if you remember that. Rogue and Syndicate were both off ones, whereas Four and Unity were big ones. Whether that's a valid statement or not is more debatable, but that was the mentality going into it. Go up. There we go. Hello, Mr. Pinkerton.
barely better, I think. I'm not even sure. Yeah, it doesn't actually seem to... I don't seem to have camera options. At all. Whatever, I suppose. I mean, you realize I've played AC games on PC before, right, RJ <laughs> It's... <laughs> A friend of mine told me this is his favorite traversal of all the AC games. We'll see what I think of it going through it. graphics bug. His name is I Make My Own Luck. Look at that graphics book. It's just this veil of non-rendered. You know, the right behind him there. Did you see the 2D trees? Corkscreen. Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous! For the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys already have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, it's up. Last 
week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. I should probably mention that I technically have played this game before for about, say, 10 minutes. And this, as a kid section, is effectively the only part of the game I ever played. I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Yeah, in the off chance you haven't played Assassin's Creed Rogue, spoilers for the ending, post-credits actually, of Assassin's Creed Rogue. Hey, it's King Loses His Head. I, I mean... I mean, I could One-Winged Angel, but I'd rather not, and also, why? I mean, I'm pretty sure the Isu aren't real, Maid Fist, but, uh... One moment, I'm going to try something else here. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. We just hit the wrong buttons here. See if this fixes it. <laughs> Too slow. That's enough. Why do you keep making Vulcans, though? Of course I can. I just have to look at this tutorial. Thief! Put that back! Oh no! It, it, hello. There we go. Interesting way of doing that. Hmm. Shh. Be 
being sneaky. That's adorable. No comment on the current financial stuff going on, by the way. I will briefly talk about it tomorrow, but as weird as it may sound, it doesn't matter yet. We're not at the point of mattering yet. Dude, I love the male fashion writer. I was just talking about that. I mean, this isn't quite what I'm into. I'm more colonial style, but still. Really, Aqua? Sorry, sorry, sorry. At this, you're like the fourth person who's been like, Hey, Lord, did you know that this is a game called Assassin's Creed? And it's like, guys, guys. <laughs> Break. So anyways, thanks, Shay. Appreciate it. So for more context on why Shay just murdered that man, please go watch the Assassin's Creed uh, lore run. I'd actually talk about it there. Because it was a lore run. Well, this is a lore run, but this wasn't. This isn't a lore run. I'm just saying, I did my research and my homework on that one. I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I do like the density of the crowd already. Sorry. Well, there's this guy called Patrick Stewart, and he sort of established a norm where all French people are actually British. And I'm actually only barely kidding. Obviously, Patrick Stewart isn't exactly the source of that, but there is a weird commonality to have French people be voiced or acted by British people doing British accents. So you've asked that three times, Nerdman. Um, the answer is, oh... Uh, so, I thought I answered that out loud. I apologize if I didn't. So all I will say is, oh, uh, because I have no idea. Probably not. Statistically speaking, le leaning towards no. Headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that. No. Get back here. Listen, these people are... European, and we all know everything in Europe is the same as everything else in Europe. That's how that works. Wise man knows when to admit defeat, Victor.
Yes, Africa is a single country. I mean, so is the United States, obviously. <laughs> yes, there's also only one British uh, accent, too, while we're on the subject. There's not like 12 or whatever there is. I mean, there's layers in, of depth, Gum Gum. I would call myself barely surface level studied of the French Revolution, but that's because I'm pretty harsh in my requirements on that. Nope, nope, there's just one American accent. Sorry, guys. Which is funny, because which one it is depends on who you're asking, but the same thing goes for all of them, so, you know. And where in God's name have you been? Killing Robespierre. Or, I mean... Huh. Got you now, you little shit! I wonder what happens. Ah, that's what I thought. It's just gonna do that. Ah, that's okay. That's acceptable. Sorry. Ending. Nothing to your master. What? A common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. That fixed it. Indeed. Well, I'm sure the marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> well, at least it's fixed, because that was driving me batty. I felt like I was playing the game with my head dunked underwater. Uh, so, for those of you curious, for the sake of, of information, what I did was I turned on Enable Audio Enhancements. And I literally just clicked that because I was just kind of clicking everything. I did all the things that would have made sense to do. And I was literally just picking random dial r random options, and that was the next one on the window. And all of a sudden, that worked. So, anyways. Precisely. I decided never to stream at Saffron. I've, I've changed my mind. Nobody actually likes DOS 2 anyways. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Website, Saffron. I ate. <laughs> Von Falkenstein already answered you, and then Crit Source already answered you as well. I, I figured you you figured it out. It's been pushed back. The end. That's it. Website, website, website. We'll be streaming it sometime next month, most likely. Maybe a bit earlier. But February is a little show. Slow. Short. God. 
What am I doing? Um, why would I mind you criticizing the game? Yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. No, we're already past as far as I've ever played Unity Duck Winter. This, there's a reason it says Premier Run up there. Sire, Sire de la Serre, wait! Nom de Dieu, nom de Dieu, nom de Dieu. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre, it's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here, I'll catch you. You must receive it today, it's very... Very important, yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. He has extremely sharp fingernails, guys. That texture bug's fun, isn't it? Look at it. Look at that. Hell, it's even there when you get up close. Look at that! Anyway, sorry. I should probably not fail the mission while I'm admiring the texture bugs. Look on this tree. Is it shoes on carriage? What I, I am playing windowed. It's a bird's eye view. I don't remember there being a film gram option. We can fiddle with options, see what we can figure out about that. We did turn off the bloom because bloom. Because we can actually turn off bloom in this one. Uh, sure. Let's turn off anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion. See if that fixes anything. I'm gonna laugh if that does. <laughs> Didn't fix it. Ooh, that, that is impressive. Look at that. It's like playing a uh, a BMP. <laughs> Game does look better without the other filters on, though. So I'll go with that. I will say I already like free climbing a bit better than any other Assassin's Creed game I've ever played, but... That's something I was kind of expecting, honestly. Because I've heard that statement before. I could be mistaken, but I don't believe Origins and Odyssey had the up and down thing that this thing, this game has. I 
doesn't sound like a Vulcan name. So she's secretly a Romulan. That makes sense. Well, it varies, Nacho. But for the most part, I was with it. I don't see the... the hay. I guess there is no hay. I'm just... Ah, oh, there it is. I mean, Assassin's Creed 4 is basically my favorite Assassin's Creed game, so that probably tells you something, Nacho. But the modern-day plot has always been just kind of whatever for me. I will say the modern-day plot is brain-alteringly stupid from Rogue onwards. And I stand by that statement up to and including Odyssey. Not sure about Valhalla yet. Are you deaf as well as stupid? Du ballet! Right, 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 sorry. Almost. No, Revelations is my other favorite AC game. And Origins would be my third. Look, it's really important this letter show up today, Mr. Baron. This is no place for you. One of the things Origins did best for me was the combat. Like, the actual functionality of weapon usage and enemy encounter design. That's why Origins is so high on the list. It was probably the most fun Assassin's Creed game to play overall for me. Story was pretty lacking, the plot was actively bad, and most of the main characters sucked other than the main character himself, Bayek. You wanna fight? I'll fight! Right, 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 it wants me to do this. And see nothing. They're as cranked as they could be, except for the fact that I just turned down several things. Not sure what I think of that, actually. Hmm. One moment, I have another idea here. Does that fix that? Hang on, let's add these things back on. Hang on, hang on. You guys are so impatient. I'm trying to fix the graphics issues first. Um, I guess we'll do that. And you just get to live with that for a minute. Consider it the authentic Assassin's Creed Unity experience. I love your head! Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any gra bu bugged graphics around us here, so we'll have to pay attention for that. Oh well. Shut up! I do as you're told. Don't worry, you guys don't need to see my face. It is all good. Messieurs, 
Here, while I'm doing this, since the whole point here is to see if this is going to fix the graphics issue, we'll go to this. That's odd. That's even odder. Why is that the resolution? It's that way on my screen too, now that I'm looking at it. Look at that. Hmm. Let's try this instead. No, nope, same thing. Wow, that's weird. That's wild. You see the black bars around it? Those are actually there on my screen too. There's just black bars for some reason. I don't actually know why. Like, you see them on the left, right, and bottom. Oh, nope. Apparently they're not on the right. That is getting weirder. Hmm. Trying to do this manually here, so please forgive me. There. I don't know why I'm bothering, it's a temporary thing, anyways. Wait, is this seriously? <laughs> I've always loved how so many different Assassin's Creed games insist on you being present at moments, like the critical moments of well-known historical import. I mean, that makes sense. There's three estates, they each get one vote. Like I said, it's always amused me, Tessie. In some cases, it's ridiculous. <coughs> Assassin's Creed 3. But for the most part, I'm amused by it. Why does Eagle Vision have a cooldown? That's a really good question. He's right there. Let's go kill him. Uh, thank you, Jason Power. Very, very, very much. Always and ever appreciate. Thank you. And that was to... Valhalla, you got it. See, I don't see a problem there, Nerva. That just sounds like modern democracy to me. Excuse me. Oh my god. Uh, pardon me? It won't let me through. It won't let me back in. It, it really won't. It won't actually let me back into the crowd. There we go. There we go. We did it. 
Yeah, yeah, the thing that you see on the website is a percentage. The finished result of the formula, if you will. Not these two again. Must have tailed me from the estate. Yeah, I love the density of NPCs. I really do. In fact, I'm going to jot that down as a potential positive, and I got to remember how I called that because we had another game, and there was a phrase we used, and I want to remember what that phrase was. Was that spell force? I want to say. It's basically, yeah, there it is, NPC set dressing. It's basically the NPC equivalent of doodad placement. So I'll jot that down as a potential. Well, so far no, Nerdman, but we'll see. Who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Can I now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not. You really are just this on about... The fact that I stole a watch from you. Right, right, right. One button. Easy, big fella. Not even that nice of a watch. Is it really worth getting stabbed over? I mean, it's up to you, really. We're getting blood on some really nice architecture, I'm just saying. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, sir! What are you doing there? Uh, running! Guards are in blue? What? French people wear blue? Guys, this is just, this is upending all my preconceived notions. He's getting away! I'll slow your flight! Oh, you're not going to sell this out Oh, okay, got it. I have a feeling that was literally Robes Pierre we just talked to, but considering that was the, uh, I can't remember the name of the event, with the three uh, parties, I'm pretty sure this is just a little bit before things got nice and head choppy. Uh, in short, yes, pre Reign of Terror. No getting back in there now. Catch them back at home, I suppose. Really? That's how you free run? Oh my gosh. Third estate, that was it. I'm learning so many things here. Yeah, the, I would agree that the Bastille, from an amateur perspective, of course, is the official start of the French Revolution. The official end of the French Revolution, that's a little more debatable. Uh, this button? Hey! It's the same button. What are, what are these? I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! There's so many markers! Ah! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Panic mode. Panic mode reduced. Panic mode reduced. Oh, can 
number's weird. What does that mean? Oh, okay. What does that mean? God, there's like a th oh, there's a 3D mode. Oh, it's terrifying. Eh. 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 Okay, here we go. I don't know about you nut guys, but the first thing I tend to do in an Assassin's Creed game is run around and get all the towers. Size terrifying, clearly, Pico. Encore lui, pas d'inquiétude. Listen, I don't know about you guys, but there's only one reason I play Assassin's Creed games it's to punch people and get towers. This was definitely during the Cassus Belli era. Towards the latter end of it, but the Cassus Belli era continued until the Great War. That is the end of the Cassus Belli era. The rules, the concepts, the ideas changed after that. People still needed to come up with excuses to go to war, but everything was just kind of structured differently afterwards. Yeah, I know, you could say that about a lot of periods in history. <laughs> This is what I mean by NPC set dressing, pretty much in a nutshell, by the way. These roofs are fine. They're fine dwarven craft, okay? What's the name of the the violent publicist in this era? Marat, that's him. I wonder if he's in this. Honestly, I'm not sure Trihexia. I mean, there were a lot of things that led to the French Revolution, regardless of Templar machination. But delayed? Which is, of course, what you asked. Uh, yeah, no, I could see that. Can't wait to jump on top of some moving speeder to reveal the map in Tatooine. Probably not, Nerdman. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Ooh. There we go. 
Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Senor de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here then. Really quick, thank you, Super Hollow Man. As always, appreciate. I hope the stress has been alleviated at least a little bit. And that's going towards Dishonored. Thank you again. Yeah, I'm not super impressed with Arno yet, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll just kill him! Or, I mean... So I know I ask this for, like, every game we cover, but could someone do me a weird favor and check up the any percent category for speedruns of this game? Idle curiosity. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. Les tragiques. Too depressing. Le traité du monde et de la lumière de Descartes. Never could get through that one. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. I never liked the cart. Just, ugh. No thank you. Three hours, wow. That's impressive. <clears throat> horse walks into a bar. Bartender asks the horse if it's an alcoholic, considering all the bars he frequents. To which the horse says, I don't think I am. And phew, the horse disappears. You see, um, this is the point in which all the philosophy students in the viewership are going to be laughing because they are familiar with the philosophical cogitations of cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. But if we were to actually explain this joke to everyone who doesn't get it, it would be putting Descartes before the horse. I'd best not leave without dropping off this letter. <laughs> Sorry, that, that might actually be my favorite dad joke ever. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I love that joke. Mémoire de Monsieur D'Artagnan. Elise's favorite. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh. Eh. Safe and sound. And only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Because dad jokes are bad jokes. I really don't like this character so far. I'm, I'm trying not to judge him too harshly. No guest. We're only an hour in. Arno, le chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Jack the Ripper. Here's my invitation. Two guests. 
Next, please. I mean, look, I know we all do dumb things for WUV, especially when we're young, but come on. Yeah, I, the problem here really is I feel like Arno just lacks the charisma that Ezio had. And I know it's kind of unfair to compare him to Ezio, but at the same time... If I might be so bold, Han Solo would be a really unpleasant character if not for the fact that he had the charm and charisma to go with it. You know? Yeah, actually, honestly, Edward was more char charismatic than this guy. but And Edward was a freaking thug. A literal pirate. <laughs> uh, whatever. Anyways. I'm tired. As you say. Who's scruffy looking? Alright. Let's go the direct route. But again, we'll see. We'll see if Arno works for me long term. It's obviously I just only seen him for about an hour. They're having a party. Uh, there's a stealth button. Not sure. Some kind. Right, 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 right. Let's immediately rebind that. The confirmation ceremony. Stealth mode. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I'll just assassinate this guy. There we go. I'm reminded of uh, Eddie Izzard. I like the French. I love the French language, and I do my performance in France in French, but they are a little French about everything, right? Is it shift change yet? You're no than the Ugh, immediately caught because I was stuck on the terrain. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'd call Connor the worst. I would actually probably put Shay in that list. Hmm. No, I was literally stuck on the terrain. I was trying to go over, and it was like, no. I'm like, but I just, I need to go over so I can get on the other side of the, the theater. And I was like, and it, it's like, no, no, you just get to be stuck here. I'm like, okay. Well, he does make his own luck, vigilant. Um, Sorry, jotting down some notes. Don't mind me. Drop his arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the Delacere girl. Oh, those don't count, Pocket Jasmine. I have no idea. You guys keep asking if I play stuff, and the answer is always going to be I don't know. I don't like to commit to things, since I tend to be a man of my word, when I don't know what I'm committing to. All 
these fireworks, God. Yes, okay, fine. Is it shift change yet? Sitting there waiting for him to do anything. Never played the Fear Trilogy, I'm afraid. I could probably go Look for at that. that one. Pretty sure his shoes cost more than my rent. Mind me. Nothing. She Wait, does not. Does she does. Don't dig on her. <laughs> Okay, they're built for withstanding human weight while in motion. No, we're doing some graphics tests, Colgram. If they work, then we will readjust to the 16 by 9 layout as much as that irritates me. Plus, I figured you'd rather see the game than me anyways. It's basically going to be a timing thing, and I'm going to need something to recover. Oh, there's two guards right there. Or are there? No, oh, yeah, they're there. Right there, I see them. Yeah, those two. Damn, I totally could make this work if not for those two. There will be a lowercase lore run of New Vegas, yes, but there will probably not be an uppercase lore run, no. Well, I'm here anyways. Let's see if we can distract them. Or they are not going to move at all. Dang it! Ah, whatever. What are you ah, well. No invitation, no end. Uh, no difference whatsoever, Rogue Jedi. Don't worry about it. Third estate practically dropping arms from there. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the Delacere girl. You know, it's actually a shame. We were just talking about tutorialization and mission design to you know, get you used to things. I forgot how bad the AC series usually is about that kind of thing. All right, where's he at right now? Okay, he's right there. Is it shift change yet? It really doesn't want me to go that way. Again. Look at that one. Pretty sure his shoes cost more than my rent. <laughs> she does not. She does. I'm taking on her wig and a bird cage in it. Little dogs are fluttering around. No. Hey. You up there! Stop! 
get down! Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. You! Come here! Well, see you in the garden later, yes? Of course. See, I thought maybe if I could make it to the green zone down below. In, through the open front door, but alas. Quite the turnout this evening. I can't remember the last time we were all together like this. Based on the cutscening, I'm guessing they didn't even program for that as a possibility because aforementioned bad tutorialization. M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentilhomme? Merci. Un autre jour. This might be one of the first games we give multiple positives just for the... I don't know what to call it. Yeah, the set dressing, exactly. It's just... Look at this! I mean, I know it's, it's based off of real-life stuff, but God, they did their work on this. Look at this. Yeah, the aesthetic is did love the gorgeous. Let's jot that down. Set dressing. That's a good word. Set dressing. Question mark. There we go. It's all question marks. You notice I haven't even... Up oh, of course I haven't updated the HUD. We're in full screen mode. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. And what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? Oh, don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Doll is dead. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out. It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. Go! We are pursuing an interloper, my dear. No, I didn't think they can climb stairs. Not with those little hooves. And how did they get out of the royal menagerie? Not an antelope, an interloper. A suspicious person. Have you seen anyone like that? Hmm. Oh, there was Madame de Polignac. Her hair has a bird in it. I think she stole it from the Royal Menagerie. <sighs> Please move aside so we may check this room, mademoiselle. You'll find only me, I'm afraid. I've been searching for the billiard room for almost an hour. We can show you there, mademoiselle, and we'll lock the door to prevent any further misunderstandings. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I hate to say this, but I already like her better than him. Unfortunately, this is probably not going to suddenly whoop, whoop, whoop. suddenly shift to uh, us playing as her. If I had one tenth her wit. I mean, if you would like to argue with Zlartek, I am absolutely listening. But I didn't see anything that really inst constituted that. And I wasn't there, so I only really have reports to go off of. Waste of time. There's nobody out here. Uh, 
Must have been the wind. Ah, uh, sod it. Not important. Which way are you gonna go? Or you're just gonna stand there. I mean, that's cool too. Yeah, French are really into sod. It's, it's fascinating, really. There we go. Yeah, I just thought I'd check. even going to come out here. Ten you to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. No bet. Also, maybe it's just me. Like, I'm into space, you know. Space is the ultimate luxury. I've said that before. I'd like to have a big house in an ideal situation. But this is insanity. This place is huge. And empty. And cluttered while we're on the subject, but that's neither here nor there. You're right, Monsieur. Too much of the King's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Sire. Monsieur de la Sire. Sylvain, come away. Guards. Help! Murder! Bon Dieu, he's killed Lord de la Serre. Hey, I got the challenge. Say, are we in the frickin' Bastille? Oh God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate! <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Ah, thank you, Kemic, as always. I don't mind. Most people do the same thing. It's the standard strategy for most donations. It's one of the reasons I reserve the dealer's choice, because otherwise nothing would ever get funded. But thank you, as always, sir, for your support. I have got that down for Alan Wake. See you around, Mr. Red. All right, so, welcome to hell. Nice place. Huge cell, my god. Oh god, it's inhuman. The blood. So much blood. <laughs> well... They'd either make all the money Trihexia, or none, as it is stolen and then either distributed or clamped down upon. One of the two. 
Welcome to your new home. I mean, you know I'm not into horror or Stephen King, Kevick, so it'll be interesting. But I said yes, and I am a man of my word. Thank you, Oculus, very, very much. Um, why don't I not bow during that here? I'll let you have some music while I bow. You can't see me. I haven't seen the graphics bug yet. I think we're going to go ahead and presume that we fixed the graphics bug. What's the graphics bug, Lore? We weren't in 16 by 9. That's my theory. I don't know. But I think that's what was actually causing it. Was that the game did not actually know how to scale to anything other than 16 by 9. You notice how it was literally some parts of the textures were like over here instead of over here where they needed to be. As soon as I saw that on the chimney, I was like, okay, yeah, that's probably a resolution issue. So, yeah. So we're stuck with 16 by 9. Sorry, guys. I'll pull it in here. Should be, yep. As I say, should already be scaled to the right size, which it is. Perfect. I mean, I could get rid of the game if you want me to, Nerdman. I don't mind, really. But thank you, Aquas. For real, I put that down to Diablo 3. What are you staring at, pisspot? Very, very much appreciate as always, sir. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm actually at the bed. Holy crap. <laughs> I cannot believe I managed that. Although I... You should feel honored. Okay. These days the Bastille is reserved for madmen, deviants, and traitors. <laughs> There's one last thing I wanted to do first. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. It's, it's by law, whenever you're stuck behind bars, you have to grab the bars and be like, la, 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 at least once. Okay, real talk, that mattress is actually nicer than real life American uh, jails have. Not a joke. Yeah, the cell is huge, and there's only five people in here. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, DW. Very, very much, as always. Much obliged. I'll put that towards Yakuza Kiwami 2, which is the next one. If you'd like to argue adventures, go for it, but as of now, no. Where'd you come by this, Pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. Like, I don't really have a, uh... A horse in the race, so to speak, as to whether or not it gets that negative or not. It's just, I can only really go by your guys' uh, statements and arguments, and the reports I've already read. So whether it was a bad enough launch is something I can only guess at, as opposed to other games where it was either present for them, or, you know, there's a lot more... 
convincing evidence. Well struck, Pisspot. See if your defense is as good. So much effort for a broken antique. A broken antique and you're slapping his idiot jaw. Say that again. I've got nothing more to say. Oh, old man. Another interesting question. Give me what's mine and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings. Easy. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss pot. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> of course. Pierre Belec. I knew your father. Bully for you. All the blood's gone. He died at Versailles. Well, 76, 77, December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. If you stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch. But I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. Are you planning on doing that from in here? Hmm? Two months later. That's exactly one of the reasons why I'm hesitant to give that negative so freely, Venters, because of memes. Uh, no offense, everyone, uh, obviously. And indeed, there was certainly some issues with the launch, but the reality is, when it comes to actually judging things, I try to diminish the value of memes in so judging, because memes are not reality. And if I might also be blunt, memes also tend to distort reality. One moment. My camera's off. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Sorry. Bonked it on accident when I was adjusting the monitors. So. Again. Focus, Pisspaw. What the hell is going on out there? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open. Opportunity might just come knocking soon. So, anyways, the Bastille. That was cannon fire. Revolution has officially started. Revolution. There's a game out there which I need to see if it was ever finished called We the Revolution, which covers this and is kind of awesome, actually. And I. Hey, cover. There we go. Quit whining, citizen. Prison is up against the wall. Oh, lose authority. I told you this was going to end badly. Silence! Stay back! Are you coming to kill us? Stay back. Uh, hello. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's 
Let's get out of this shell. Hello, Mockingbirds. I'm sorry. Whoa. One of them stabs me. I want you to go to the grave. Revolution. Is the door open? Wait. We have a problem. Is that your best? Find a solution. Nothing. <laughs> what? No, no, no need to rush out. I count. gun threw me completely. That's my fault. I have to admit, the inclusion of guns is something I've never enjoyed in the AC series. Going back to three. Got it! Let's go, piss pop! I know I'm not supposed to fight him, I don't care. I thought I'd try for it. I'll find you! Wasn't enough that I keep hitting the wrong button too, but I'll get used to that eventually. Well, in pirates, it was just gunplay, not swordplay. So that was okay. Like, I'm sorry, I. It's, you've seen me play AC4. Let's go, piss pop! Now you brawl! Out the window! Come on! Go help! Quickly! Quickly! You gonna draw your sword, buddy? Prisoners, out! Give up! No way to run! Throw down your weapons! Like, if you guys just let us flee, I won't kill you. Deal? Shit! After it! Deal. Where now? Up! Oh, brilliant! And how do we get down again? Trust me! Yeah, it feels like they basically looked at Assassin's Creed Revelations and wanted to go the exact opposite direction with that. What do you sure what I think of that. It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up here! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! 
can pluck your head out of your own arse. Come find us. We'll make a great fit. Goodbye, Chris Pot! You! Back away from the ledge! Sure. Credits in just a second. Oh man, look at that texture pop in. Roll credits. Okay, the textures are still not loading for some reason. Some of them aren't. Please? That's some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arnaud. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that...? A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. Unopened. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. I mean, it's okay, he was a Templar, so he probably deserved to die. Yeah, we can't play as a Templar, then that would be Assassin's Creed Rogue. What that building is? Looks kind of ugly, ugh. I'd keep going with that joke, but that would be in poor taste. I'm totally going there, by the way. I... So, real talk for just a second. I actually wanted to go in real life. It was... I had a mental list of places I'd like to visit. It's a pretty typical list. It's everything you'd expect. But Notre Dame was actually on that list. The devil is this supposed to be? So, that sucks. But well, whatever. Paris is open. Sweet. That is... France is actually one of the countries I wanted to visit. Although, if I'm being honest, the number of countries I'd like to visit is actually huge. You know, based on availability of visitation.
New Zealand, Japan, France, Vietnam, Spain. Germany. Eastern Germany, if it matters. Hmm. I already live in Space Crit Source, so that's just whatever. I've actually been to Mexico as well. It is the only country I've been to that isn't the one I was born in. That's the idea, Takoya. It's secretly my plan to wipe out reality. I can't do the mechanical plague yet, so I gotta do the more biological variety. If these gargoyles start talking to me, I'm out. France has a Disneyland? Or do you mean metaphorically? In which case, I still don't know what you're referencing, but that's amusing. Either way. I don't like going to Disneyland in the country I live in. It's not anymore. been to Disney World. I didn't care for Disneyland, as I previously mentioned. Well, that's that's inaccurate. I don't care for Disneyland anymore, really, is a better way to put that. Last time I went to Disneyland, one, Mockingbirds. I know snippets of four, but I only know one language. I am far too stupid to learn a new language. Um... God, when would that have been? That would have been just about 18 years ago. 18 years ago this year, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. True, Nero's ass. But you know me, I like people. Otherwise, I just pre record my streams. I wasn't even to comment on it, Kemic. It's just whatever at this point.
See you around, Damashi. I mean, it's not like I'm physically capable right now, even if I had the inclination, which I admittedly do not. The only reason I would go to Disneyland... You know, I actually already answered that, Trihexia, but to repeat myself... I, uh, have never played the Fear Trilogy, so I have no opinion on it whatsoever. It exists! That's all I got. I mean, I do legitimately think that would be a good move, Dakota. And not just because of my own theories on the matter, which I've had since AC2, which they only very, very recently have started embracing, which I can't really talk about with spo without spoiling Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But suffice it to say that they've kind of embraced the superhuman, superpowered nature of things by then, in the past and the present. Anyways, ugh. I'd like to take my niece to Disneyland, but I'm probably already too late for that. I mean, you, you, I don't know if you're joking, Dakota, but I'd be all for that. upset about. It's not like you have been starving while dealing with crisis after crisis after crisis. God. I'm gonna go with equal. Gum gum. They're both equally the same in terms of believability. I suppose a simple address would be too mundane. Oh yeah, we're a cult. Duh. It's okay, a lot of leadership was uh, incompetent. Uh, not only here, but for a little bit of period of time after this, too. particularly religious person, but this is gorgeous. Look at it. Seriously, just look at that. What's the light supposed to illuminate? Fair, Adrius. Now to deface it. Uh, hello? Jump. Can I not? There we go. D didn't want to do it. Come find us. I'm, I'm admittedly just kind of a sucker for architecture in general. Like, there's all kinds of architecture, and I'd love basically all of it, with a couple of exceptions. Like, organic architecture. No thank you. 
What's my favorite? Architecture. I'm being serious. I don't really have a favorite. It's all good in the hood. Unless it's organic. That's just gross. Nothing, Grammarin, nothing. Guys, I think Grammarin is secretly a Chaos Lord. We need to kill him immediately. want to go up twice he was just like no I don't want to go up but you could go up no I don't want to go up okay well they sound very organic to me gum gum his head on the way down. We need another cleanup in here. Mile two. Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? A sanctuary. A place we can trade and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. From these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city. All without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, Pisspot. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. I mean, considering the Assassin's Quite the entrance. Brotherhood is also relatively religious, it makes sense to me. No, no. God's truth, very theatrical. Shut up. We're here. The candidate will approach. I mean, this this is a cult. It's at certain parts of it history. It's history. Let's just be frank about that. Even in modern times. And look at this. So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come, but changed your mind. I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. Inna the nubahu tukkilu kailai. Hal anta muta akkidon min? Anna kathalik. Inna hu kadnira ala muajati el muakama. Seikunu jaidan. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? 
Yes. Then drink. Oh yeah, that's not suspicious. These are supposed to be the good guys, right? What is it? Bourbon. Thunk. No, no, no. We could go the other way with it. What is it? It's a wine spritzer. Yeah, tell me about it, Eclectic. Hello? Screw it. Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top, and there is to be no mischief. You know, they had this cutscene towards the end of AC4, when it was significantly relevant for the character arc. Where is that boy? Remember that? I'm certain I told you six o'clock. We should be well away by now. Father, it's me! I'm here! That's actually clever what they're doing there. Do you see in that? That's actually kind of brilliant. Get moving the door further away. Yeah, I heard of the gold post, but man. Ugh, and then we died! Not even sure what killed us, honestly. Let's see how our uh, checkpointing goes. Ah, it's not great. Father, where is that boy? I'm so we should be well away. By now. Father, it's me. I'm here. I know, right? Is he fit to be an assassin? Only one way to tell. Oh, he's dead. Uh, uh, it, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's only a few hundred, Pico. Father! Where is that boy? I couldn't steer. We should be one away. Father, it's me! I'm here! I guess 100 is an exaggeration. There's only like... Might hit the hundreds. Okay, this is weirdly hard to steer. No, to the right, to the. All right. <laughs> this is. Hmm. This might prove a problem. Father, where is that boy? Where is that boy? Take what he's just. Not showing up for some reason. Father, 
one more Saffron. Basically, if I fail here, then this, you know, has officially reached annoying. I think I actually know what's happening. Damn it, Shaw. Why are you always so late? And now we're in the mirror dimension. You must receive it today. It's very very weird. I heard you the first time. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. You can pluck your head from your own arse. Yeah, this is just Paris. That, that's all this really is. Go! I'll distract them! Truly, I am blessed to have such a royal ah! To resolve my father's study. <clears throat> An open. Gobble, 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 gobble. Sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, Saffron. This should have been 20 hours from now in the game. You know? This shouldn't have been during the intro. What? <laughs> Just, okay. But I like getting stabbed. Not him. It's okay, 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 okay. <laughs> That's, I'm sure this is supposed to be some big, awesome moment, but what? think about this uh, I'm giving this a plus and a negative I'm just gonna talk that out here it's actually pretty well done but its timing is terrible. 
and it 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 comes off as laugh inducing rather than deep. It's it's it also carries some other minuscule but nevertheless extant uh, structural problems that irritate me about things like this in general. Let me give you one example. Oh, vigilant. Remember, vigilant. I make my own luck, and then I leave. And then five minutes later, vigilant's walking down the street. He's looking down. And he hears in an echoing, distorted voice, Remember, Vigilant, I make my own lock. And the Vigilant's like, he's right from that cutscene I just saw five minutes ago. <laughs> and that's only one of the issues. There, there are many there. So, negative story, plus to story. Oh my god, you're right, it's totally Romeo. <laughs> Not because of the love or the, the anything else, no, it's just because he's an emo git who falls for the first girl he meets. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't be unkind. Elise is actually an interesting character from what I know from the greater lore of the series. And the one cutscene we've seen. Well, two. These are the words spoken by our ancestors. The words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them. Be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Now we'll be chopping off a finger. I'm kidding. Is dead. He has been culled from this world. His sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Musical timing, but that's okay. Um. Welcome back. Hi. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? No! No! What kind of recruitment speech is that? All right. Now that we've pushed you through this pit of, of, of seemingly random French history and shown you the culty origins of our cult, would you like to cult it up with us? Also, while we're on the subject, given how the Animus works, we technically went through the acid trip, too. I mean, the, the exact nature of how much that would fiddle with our brain is debatable, but... Uh... <laughs> So we're probably sitting here tripping balls. Like, uh, you, what? Uh, oh, what? Yeah, would you like to join us now? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, this this is why the Templars are winning in the modern era. It's not because they they went corporate. It's because the assassins recruit like this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know what's funny? We have we have reviewed Assassin's Creed Origins and we reviewed Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And both of them got a negative for the modern story. Now, I don't think that's true across the board. I don't think every AC game would get that. But if you asked me right now, off the top of my head, and put a gun to my head, because you always put a gun to my head for some reason, to ask me which AC games would get negatives for the modern day story, it would be most of them. Like, numbers-wise. Altering math. All right, moving on. Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a 
media files from Abdergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. And then what plays is the is the peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, and that's the the media file. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. <laughs> this is so terrible. I didn't hit play. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. You <laughs> Would you like to hit play or would you like to quit the game? Well, I mean, oh, shut up. You are a terrible recruiter. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. <laughs> oh. oh my god. These are this, this is funny. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Slim Jim Reborn. Oh. Much obliged as always. Thank you. Uh FF6, you got it. I mean, I actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and admit, I was kind of down for Black Flag's modern story. So I like Black Flag's. I liked what they did with two. And in terms of modern story. And I'd have to think about it other than those. Because, the yeah, the gaming company stuff and the little side puzzles and the idea of the, uh, what they call them? The, the genetic duplicates and all that fun stuff. There was some interesting potential there. As I talked about during the AC low run, the biggest flaw with Assassin's Creed 4's modern day story is that it didn't continue. It like laid the groundwork for what the modern story could have been going forwards, and then they immediately abandoned it for, for some reason. <laughs> like, like, we talked about that. It was just like... They, they're like, it, I don't even know how to put it into frickin' words, because they're like, alright, let's establish and build up this whole idea, and then immediately abandon it. To this day, I don't know why they did that. And then they just started throwing stuff at the wall in every Assassin's Creed game with regards to the, the modern-day stuff. And I just, it was even a logical follow-through of the end of 3's modern-day story. You know, Juno becoming the next main focus of the narrative made a lot of sense. And actually having an Isu being directly relevant in the modern time made sense, too. And then, throw stuff at the wall as fast as you can. I'm going to take a quick stretch break. I'll be right back.
In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. Honestly, that doesn't make sense to me, Nerdman, but I believe you. If I were to speak from purely analysis, I would say that they abandoned interest. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. Okay. Uh -huh. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. So anyways, <clears throat> It felt like, it, I, I've said my opinions about the modern story to death. The only new thing I have to add is it felt like it became checkmark, right? It has to have a modern story, so checkmark. And if I might be so bold, I don't understand that at all. Because if you aren't interested in doing it, 
And it, yeah, it's a bullet point. This is literally bullet point syndrome. If you're not interested in doing it, if you don't want to do it, or you don't care, or you don't have the resources, or you don't have the time, then just ax it! Just straight ax it! Now, I would prefer they continue the modern story in something else, and I've already given my thoughts about that vis-a-vis -vis Watch Dogs 7,000 times, but the fact of the matter is, just ax it and be done with it! You guys know how to manage, right? It's your main job! You are a manager. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways. Which one's which? Like, I'm guessing reds are the... Well, which one's the revolution? It doesn't understand. Does it actually... It doesn't really say. Coupez <laughs> It's actually kind of a nice dress, other than the poofiness. <laughs> exactly, Kiro White Noise. Just start the modern plot elsewhere, and then just keep doing AC games. <laughs> You don't break the law, idiot! What? I need money. The best way to get money is looting the dead. Dr. Josef Guillotin is attempting to make a mockery of public executions. Instead of proper beheadings, breakings upon the wheel, or simple hangings, he is proposing a machine execute the guilty in a clean and efficient manner. Nothing could be more absurd. Executions are meant to give warning to the populace. The more brutal, the better. Thank you, as always, Cielo, for your continued insanity. Much obliged. And if Nerozaz knows where that should go, let me know. You know, I was thinking about it regarding what we were talking about the other day, Nerozaz. You know who Kimi Raikkonen is? Because you totally remind me of him. That's true. Nobody actually wants good YouTube content. That's why I'm not big. What? You don't like Kimmy Raikkonen? Dude, Raikkonen's amazing. Or am I not allowed to compliment people anymore? Is that the rule? Von Falkenstein, I was gonna compliment you, but I'm afraid it's not allowed. What's the mission? Mission. Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. Can't we ask questions? Like, isn't that a good thing? I mean, I know we just played Assassin's Creed Rogue, where the assassins were told not to ask questions, and it led to a massive division, and basically the end of what was at that point decades, if not centuries, of assassin preeminence. But! But! Don't ask questions. That's true, we are in a cult. And then we tied. <laughs> the end. Uh... 
Whoop, that's the wrong button. Whatever. Hey, what was that? I'll accept it. I was trying to whistle. But instead I'll just stuff some straw. And that's not really a euphemism. We are actually going to stuff some straw. There's no whistle! Arno does not have the ability to whistle, which I'd make fun of, but I can't either. So that makes sense. The hell? Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Over here. Ah! No. Oh, well. Let's keep an eye on this one. I'll see you for that. Your legs feeling heavy, baby. Anyways, I got a hundred creed points, guys. It means I'm a really good boxer. Has generously agreed to our price of forty percent. An act of desperation. What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivir. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I? Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well. Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre. Patience, Sivert is not the target. Not today. Why? Don't ask questions. Council's waiting for our report. Uh, hello? It literally is not letting me lead. Oh my god. You're correct, Dink. I already answered that. At least I thought I did. No, I have not played the DLCs. I am aware of what happens, both in the modern story and in the old story, though. Did Nero's eyes ever answer the question? I don't think he did. Just double checking, make sure I didn't miss it. Yep, nope, I don't see it. Here! Smoke him out, piss pop! Gentlemen! Oh, yeah, Lead the oh, bastard! <laughs> I have obtained a new assassin's rank. Elite recruit. That's okay, they bring back the hook in Syndicate, so. Oh dude, spa would be legit. And not just because it's my favorite. How are these people not dead? I mean, now that I'm complaining. I mean, I'm complaining a little bit. There we go. You received a... First of all, you missed me talking about you and Von Falkenstein being upset about me talking about you. But second of all, you also missed someone gifting a sub to you and me asking, and they saying you get to put that towards whatever you want to. And obviously then you left, so nothing there. I love those textures. At least they're properly fitted right now, so that's something. I love Spa. I really do. Just to watch, but also to drive in. One of those little probably never gonna happens is to someday actually drive around Spa. I do have to mash that too. That was like five button presses before he finally jumped. Yeah. 
See, most people I know prefer the Nur. Including a friend of mine. That I can do, Alundra. You got it. And thank you again, Ciela. 99 gifted subs. You are truly insane. Thank you. I don't know if I'd call that one bucket list. My bucket list is higher tier than that and even less likely to happen. Yes, I know, Crit Source. What I have to do is I have to hold shift and then mash space five or six times before he finally does it. I've already discovered this. Merde. Patriots. These imbeciles will pick a fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pisspot. Well, there's a cheery thought. And then he walks into us. Extremists who are in red harass the population. They're paid by the Templars because, of course, they are. Heads up, lads. Remy found the Sharapnon's body in a courtyard not far from here. Stabbed through the throat. Yeah, as I say, you know how expensive Monaco is, I'm sure. Like, I don't have to tell you about that. I would actually like to go to a real-life spa someday. But unfortunately, that's probably also never happening. The... ow. Oh. Yeah, I have to go You call that a run? <laughs> Careful, Pistol. You'll hurt someone. Okay, I gotta be real. That's actually less than I thought it would be, James B. Just trying not to strain your heart. Careful, Pisspot. You'll hurt someone. One of those other totally never gonna happen wish lists. There's an extremely windy road in Europe. I know that's generic. I don't remember where it is. I'm sorry. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it looks like exactly the type of road I love to drive on. In real life, not in a video game. I would love to go there and just have a run through that sometime. It was it was shown off in Top Gear, yes. I've actually seen it in a few things, but that that was just, that was the first time I'd seen the full play, you know, visualization of the whole road, and I was just like, oh my god, that looks so awesome to drive on. You'll hurt someone. I can't believe this. We've not seen Seabear for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. Well, yeah. Listen, we don't question orders. What, what about that do you not understand? <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Ciela. Nose to keyboard. <laughs> All the way down. You are awesome and insane. Thank you. 100 gifted subs. Please stop. <laughs> I know that's like lifetime, but still. And yes, Malakor, if you know what you want that to put the, what you want to put Seal's sub towards, please let me know. Timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. And if we lose him again, he'll be at Notre Dame tomorrow if he keeps to the schedule we found. You might have shared that earlier. Okay, real talk. I've liked a lot of assassins' outfits over the years, and. You know, several of the armors are really cool looking, and there's some cool stuff, and everything's awesome. And then there's this dorky thing. What the hell are we wearing? <laughs> I mean, I've seen this picture before. I've seen this. You know, it's it's all over the, the adverts, and it's on the cover. But what is this outfit? He looked better before. Yeah, 
So what happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. Proceeds to do nothing with it. You don't seem terribly fond of him. He's a politician. Yeah, the other guy literally has a better outfit than we do. Look at that. He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars, bring the revolution to a happy conclusion, and convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. But they do live together in peace, regularly and frequently. It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. The Templars are at their weakest since Jacques de Malay burned. We're running around after second-rate smugglers. All because Mirabeau wants to secure his legacy. Monsieur de la Serre? Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damned truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We this is a good time to mention, I actually talked about this during the lore run, the period of time just after and in the, in the, like, kind of in the middle of Rogue and Assassin's Creed IV was a period of unprecedented progress between the Assassins and the Templars. Mainly because the two weren't constantly trying to kill each other. Now, I don't know if that was the intent of the writers, but what I just told you is a statement of fact. You know, they did very well because they weren't constantly trying to kill each other. I mentioned that because it was a topic that came up a lot in Rogue, especially, if you'll remember that. By the way, I'd totally love to visit Romagna, although that's another one of the probably never going to happens. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready. Very well. Assassin. I have a name. I like her outfit too. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Sivert. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. Okay. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, so, sorry. Sorry, is that not what you want me to do? My bad. Right, cult. I keep forgetting that. It's so easy to forget. Given the circumstances. Oh, where the hell am I? Someone asked earlier if I prefer the older style of combat or the newer style of combat between the Assassin's Creed games. I feel like I already answered that, but forgive me if I didn't, or did, and I'm just repeating myself. You got it, Malakor. But I prefer... The, the game that has the best combat for me is Assassin's Creed Origins. Specifically Origins, not Odyssey. Origins did many things right with regards to its combat, in my opinion. Like, Origins was just a treat to run around and fight things. Odyssey... Odyssey had other related issues to gameplay, which in my opinion hampered the combat, 
even though it is effectively the same combat style. Ah, my friend. And obviously I haven't played Valhalla. I I'm sure Odyssey is an amazing game. It sure wasn't when I played it. I'm legitimately not sure I would ever allow someone to fund that game, even now. Psst, here. What? Oh, that's a co-op mission. Sure. Make ready. Let's do it. No, don't look for it. I was going to play it solo. The law of suspects has started a wave of paranoia. What? <laughs> Citizen, there's been some error. I'm no royalist. You have all been named enemies of freedom by your... Get to the notebook, then save Paton. It, okay. Need to check something very important. Looks like we're okay. Around for a more sneaky assassin approach. So, note to self, just pull up the audio options anytime that comes becomes an issue. That's the warning. He's probably got the key with him. Okay, that guy's getting a little wrecked over there. And now I'm dead. Oh, bull crap. Whatever. I'm surprised there was someone within less than a second. I did not have time. But... Or don't. That's cool. Just be stuck on the terrain. Please let me quit. I literally, I, ca I can't hit anything. I, I can't hit any buttons. Nothing is doing anything. This is me holding E. There we go. God damn, that was what, eight seconds? Jesus. God damn it, and there's still a person there. So, let's see if I can do this without recruiting someone. Okay. Play in private. There we go. That wasn't even an option last time. The law of suspects has started a wave of paranoia. One wrong word and you're a dead counter-revolutionary. No! It's, it's... Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. That's actually horrible. Uh, thank you, Nas. As always, for the sub. I'll put that towards Gothic, a game I am really curious how bad that's gonna be. <laughs> Holy crap. Citizen, there's been some error. I'm no royalist. You have all been named enemies of freedom by your fellow citizens. I have information for Robespierre. Citizen Robespierre. We have enemies among us. D.A. Paton, patriotic citizen turned super spy. We have to one target for another. Yes. Patron got a little carried away. He ratted out hundreds of Parisians. No crime is too small. He got so good at snooping, he found something he shouldn't have. May the father of understanding guide us. The Templar Order. And you can identify these citizens. Many, yes. They are not loyal to France. I fear they may control members of our own government. Guards! 
You truly are a gifted spy, Battle. Perhaps too gifted. Arrest this traitor. You can't do this! No! Witness the fate of those who betray their fellow citizens. Catan has valuable Templar secrets, and he's no good to the assassins dead. Get to the notebook, then save Paton. <sighs> Who's who of the Templar Order. So, now that I am not rushed by another player... The front entrance is pretty heavily guarded. Maybe look around for a more sneaky assassin approach. Ed, no. Still no. There you go. Language. Hey, you there! Come here, you oh. raven bastard! Forgive their French. Shit. Bloody murderer loose. How do you know I'm a murderer? Also, I haven't killed anyone today. Stop right there! Hold, Hello. citizen! I'll take it. I didn't hear that. Please go in. Okay. He really does not want to jump into that. Uh... Hey, that's right there. Oh my god, look at this! He really does not actually want to go into the freaking hay hey bale. Yeah, the hay dimension was apparently just a bit too much. No, no, I've got it. He's got allergies right now, guys. That makes sense. I wouldn't want to jump in there either. That would be just unpleasant right there. Started slicing. Dead. Oh, wow, I lived through that. I am actually surprised. 
PC version would have more bugs than a console version? That's madness. Can I please have... Thank you. mechanical keyboard so I couldn't hit all the buttons I was trying to at once so I didn't heal so I died I'm gonna make one more attempt I think I'd actually do this the front entrance is pretty heavily guarded maybe look around for a more sneaky assassin approach go that oh my god really dude this way Oh god! Yeah, now that I know where he's coming in, I'm just going to do that. Shoot. 
the who's who of the Templar Order. You need to get it before it's destroyed. The front entrance is pretty heavily guarded. Maybe look around for a more sneaky assassin approach. Up. Up. I'm gonna kill you, Arno, if you don't start going. No! Don't go there! Go up the frickin'. There you go. Oh my god! I mean, all the Assassin's Creed games have had clunky controls. It's something you just kind of accept, and we're probably gonna give a negative to basically all of them for, but man! Just go up! And now he's past us! Even though we took less time to get over here. At least I think we took less time. Combat there for a second. Stop the bastard! The lore is relentless. You will die. Your time. You can't run. You can't hide. What? What? Put away your sword, Arno. <laughs> I'm not even sure what to make of what just happened there. It looked like I kept leaving combat for some reason. You need to get it before it's destroyed. Ah, whatever. I give up. his fault he was cursed to have a terrible name, right? He struggled. He tried. I don't remember which book that is. All the Clone Wars books blur a lot for me. Like I said, 
Clone Wars era book, Melkor. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, you probably do, of course, that there was a fairly large number of books that came out around the prequel trilogy that were, you know, the Clone Wars books, and there was just, like, God, a couple dozen of them. A bunch of them. Oh, it's AU! When did that come out? I guess I definitely haven't read that, because I haven't read any of the AU books. Yes, Dakota. I remember having a few jank issues, but it was at least interpretive enough to generally figure out what I wanted to do, rather than, you know. No, I want to go this way. Oh, you mean this way? No, this way! I mean, this game still has the con- uh, not the context clues, the uh, environmental movement controls. But its interpretations of what I want to do have always been ugh. And again, that goes back to like AC2 at the uh, absolute la latest. I don't remember if AC1 had that problem. I haven't played it in a while. What's our plan? Our plan. You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. So study your surroundings. Devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. Is this the one from the the trailer or whatever? No targets unreachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell is Dushano? He's right here. Sorry. See, my my initials is just L R. It's very simple. I should come up with a middle name that starts with O, so it's Lore O Runner, you know, L O R, something like that. I don't know. Uh, is this gonna update? Streamlabs has given me a minute, but either way, thank you, Pack of Twelve Ninjas. Thank you very, very much, as always. <laughs> and yes, that does help. I mean, it cost a little bit more than that, I'm not going to lie. But I do still appreciate it. Thank you. I don't suppose you know what you want to put that towards. Octavius! There we go. Lore Octavius Runner. No, the message got through. You just It just says, you know, you put it towards the computer issues, which... I mean, that bill's already paid, you know what I mean? Kind of had to. Lore of. Well, then that would be Loter. Loter. Lot. Oh my god, I would share the same acronym as Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Runner. Anyways, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting way off topic here. Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? We miss you. Good. Tell Sivir, I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you. Take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his? Before Altair, that was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best. Assassin. I make my own... way? Could you make your own tailor too? Because... I think you need some assistance on that one. Well, this is interesting. Hang on, is, is this cool? Because this looks cool. <laughs> like, there's little side objectives which create, which, which change the dynamic, but really the only thing I have to do is walk up and kill him. That's kind of really cool. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. We gotta test this, but man, I need to jot that down for a positive. For a potential positive. You know what, let's just call that Hitman Assassinations. Because that's exactly what that is. You can just walk up and shoot them. Because you can. You can just walk up and shoot them in the Hitman. Or you can do all kinds of stuff to watch and track and change and learn and grow and just all sorts of cool stuff. By the way, I really love the Hitman games. If it's not obvious, I'm super looking forward to Hitman 3. Ahem. Um. Ooh. Come on, I ate breakfast. Ah. Uh. Thank you very, very much, Slim Jim Reborn. As always, appreciate it. I put that towards FF6 Snus. Thank you. Okay. Let's try the guards first. Let's see what's going on over here. You've secured the cathedral. We must your tissue. This is the only way in or out. We paid off the guards. Good. Knocking on that. Well, FF6 is a run that is on the books, Mr. Mr. Ninjas. What's the plural of Mr.? It looks like we've activated him now. Ah, too slow. Maybe not. That guy, he's got other things on his mind. I'm just saying. He's... He just... Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. I mean, be honest. Let's say you're hanging out. And a guy walks by you, and all of a sudden the guy jumps out of, like, the hay barrel right next to you, stabs the guy walking by you, and then drags them right back in, and then just vanishes. And the and the, the person leaning against the, the cart is just like... Like, what would you do in those circumstances? <laughs> okay. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Get over here! I'll finish you quick if you ask nice! Honestly, I'd probably wait a second, see if they're going to stab me next, and assuming they don't, I'd just be like, okay. Gotta leave now. This time. Well, you see a pack of 12 ninjas. You're right. And this would be the first run I've ever actually pushed for a second review of. But... There were issues with the first review, and that's really all that is. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> the Lord Dream Runner. <laughs> I like that. An ultra boy? Or just a common cup first. Get him! 
Pardon me for the mess. I do apologize. Okay, listen. I don't want to kill the two of you. But I, you know, will. God, my sword does no damage. I'm, I'm pretty sure since AC, I think it's two. It's two or Brotherhood. They just have randomized loot. Of course they know I'm an assassin. I can't imagine how they would know that I'm an assassin, but, you know. It's just a... <laughs> vague inclination. Is it Brotherhood? Mm, you're right, you're right. I will admit I get two Brotherhood and, well, two and Brotherhood pretty confused. Rev is pretty distinct. It's awesome, but anyways. I mean, it was sold and marketed as its own game, Von Falkenstein. And by that logic, you could say Rev was an expansion too, which, I mean, I'm not saying I would argue it, I'm just saying. Well, since it was asked earlier. I apparently have several weapons. Less ooh. Much more ooh. Perfect. I don't even know what that is, One Winged Angel, so that will probably answer you. Let's be Russian. Thank God we can get rid of that stupid outfit. Oh, apparently these have stats too. That sucks. But <laughs> whatever. As long as I can get rid of that stupid outfit. I wonder what our, that's probably our ultimate right there, isn't it? Maybe that one of these masters. Well, anything other than that stupid outfit. So let's just change outfits here. It's ugh. That's the kind of men's fashion I appreciate right there. No joke. 
That looks nice. That one, yeah, that one also looks pretty nice. I'm with that. We're gonna go with that, though. Sorry! <laughs> Just kinda overriding the actual gear. But whatever. The ability to shoot a gun! I know, it's it's not that easy to do, especially these guns. Yeah, we have to learn a separate skill for reloading. What do you think this is? Lore Reloaded? Hmm. Okay, that's why I didn't have that ability. I have to literally unlock it. No longer look like crap. Yeah, I was trying to do it earlier during the co-op mission one way Angel, and failing at it because I didn't have it yet, like I said. Get back here, I'll take your scut and I will! Something's going on. Disengage. There you go.
slightly theoretical. Um. Huh. Well, the mere fact that we're playing this game probably answers you, One-Winged Angel. But the final answer was no veto of any kind. So, complete blank. The fact that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is on the list further emphasizes this thing. Hmm. So... Right. We had a, I think it was a three-week poll, and no boycott at all was the final resultant. Go up. Ubisoft does not get a say. Now go up! Really? jotting that down before I forget it. I gotta make sure to keep notes lest I forget them. There's one way this, well, there's actually like 50 ways this is inferior to Hitman, but 
in Hitman, they have their own schedules and timelines, and that's something you have to plan around or work around. You'll notice he came to the confessional as soon as I went into the confessional. I actually thought I would have missed it because I was taking so damn long. Everything's in place. Finally saw recent did he? What's our cut? 30. <laughs> Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. Who's in there? Monsieur Latouche. I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. The intrigues of rats! Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. Well? What's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? <laughs> You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! Interesting. Can we just get a moment of flash from something that we don't really know anything about, but sure. I'm not gonna question it. Uh, what's that ability from Jedi Fallen Order? I don't remember what it's called. You know, you touch something and you get some memory from it, because that's what that feels like. Up, please. Or don't. Oh my god. Really? Really, game? Whatever. Whatever. Psychometry, that was it. Yes, Mother Musa. That's what I was looking for. Right there. Jesus, Deacon, do you read? What the hell is that? I'm here, Bishop. That's a server suite. Of servers looking for you, and they're close. Damn it. Can you open a server bridge? Hey, come on, it's me. Already on it. Couple of seconds. Initiate. We're opening a server bridge. Find the portal and pass through before the suite finds you. Got it. Go. Do you see it? They're hard to miss. Jumping from one healer server to another should buy you a few more hours. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Well, we're not screwed. It's your initiate that gets the brunt. Deacon, you're not helping. Sean is amazing. Can I just say that? Probably my favorite secondary character in the entire franchise. Although, given how often he shows up, I'm not sure if he qualifies as secondary at this point. There it is. Go. Uh, how? There we go. In, in TV terms, they'd be B-listers, but they're good B-listers. And if I'm being honest, in most TV shows, B-list B cast members tend to be some of my favorites. You're waiting outside the main simulation now. This will throw Abstergo off your trail for a while, but you'll also run into a lot of incomplete and corrupted code. You know, 
Worf was a B-list character, for example, over in TNG. Which probably explains why the people here are quite here. Hmm. Looks like the late 1800s. Now, this is a Paris I wouldn't mind visiting. Maybe another time. Right now, you need to get to the exit portal. I can't see a path through, though. See if you can find a route underground. Yeah, you know, Dakota, the more you're talking here, the more I'm agreeing with you. That's always terrifying. <laughs> Mm, the Belle Epoque looks a lot cleaner than Revolutionary Paris, don't you think? Fear of beheadings too, I bet. But what I mean by that, though, is if they just actually embraced the more metaphysical aspects of the game, I think no, it would work a little bit better. There has to be an underground pass somewhere. Like, like I, I've, we've already talked about the fantasy elements, but again, the Matrix elements are just on display. There's so much you could do with, like, a Matrix Assassin's Creed game, right? I don't think they can see you. They're like the ghost shit. This area is becoming unstable. Turn back. You need to get underground. Now. Hurry. I don't believe so, no. The lava come, sorry. If I have, I don't recognize the name. But like this section here is the kind of thing that you could do with a game that actually embraced the matrixy nature of it. Or how about, hey, I've decided to load some combat modules into the thing, and then you go fight deities. Assassin's Creed Origins. Excuse me. Or cyberpunk, Juniper Ron. But yes, either way. I mean, we've already had a uh, a few branching outs of the Assassin's Creed genre of game, for lack of a better way to put it. Food for thought. Yeah, exactly. Let's go finish. Let's go check out Asgard. I had to, had to make up a few things, because, you know, lack of historical records, but hey. Like, I mean, the, the, the Animus is basically a holodeck. You could do so much with a holodeck video game. Conceptually. This is a really slow train. Not that I'm complaining right now. I mean, you remember the acid trip dream sequence we had earlier? That's the kind of thing you could do with that sort of built-in mechanic. There you are. And you found the exit. Good. It's an unstable vortex of energy, so there's no telling how it will disrupt the simulation. Cool.
It looks like you'll have to climb Lady Liberty. She must have bled through from another time period. The French should have shipped her off to the States by now. This actually is an Avengers game. Like are trapped in the system, and we have no choice but to send someone like you in to rescue them. In fact, one of our initiates is caught in a Bellapox server right now. If you're not too exhausted, you can re-enter the bridge and rescue him. All right, back to work, initiate. Right. Doing rifts earns money. Why? <laughs> yeah! Someone explain that one to me. Uh, to summarize, Nerdman, I don't have a thought about it yet. I mean, we've only just seen one other era of the of Paris so far. But I think they should do more of it and should go full tilt with it. We talked about it for like ten minutes, dude! Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it's fine. Where is the rift? Is that a rift? Nope, that's a companion mission. That almost sounds to me because the whole the prime directive in the Federation is a uh Damn it, James B. Is a, uh... It's very simple, right? Don't interfere. Uh, is it that thing? Nope. Oh, maybe it is. No, that's not it. Ah! Map navigation. No, oh, that is it. All right, whatever. Let's go do that. Boop. Playing AC2 all over again. Um. I'm just gonna live with that, Guido. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Not really. Disco Elysium. Yes, I have actually already done a full review of it. Money, money. Money. I mean, I could turn the webcam off. That's true. I, I could actually do that. And then... Yes, I want to spend money on renovations. Anyways, Prime Directive is a singular and easy to explain rule. What it sounds like you're talking about is break out the book! Which, at that point, is fine. It's just that's not really a, a Prime Directive. That's just break out the book. Which, honestly, might be more preferable. I'm curious how many of those regs they have memorized. 
It should be. It's also, if you just want the summarized version, you know, the bullet points, that is on the website. Come on. What, I'm gonna need at least some funds. Until I get the capitalism train going. Assuming that's a thing in this one. Because in a lot of the previous ones, after a certain point, you just have so much money, you're just swimming in it. Which is good, because then you don't have to worry about buying upgrades. No, I hate it, Nerdman. This is the worst game I have ever played. Ever. I hate it so much, you know what? I just, I can't. Sorry, guys. I tried. I have to pull an Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You know, it just occurred to me, no matter how bad, terrible, and indeed awful this game may be, it will never be as bad as Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So, I shall endure. <clears throat> You're asking me if I'm liking the game? I'm three hours in, man. Glad you can make it. You have to 
free our agent and get to the exit portal. Unless you mean this thing, in which case I already answered that across like 10 minutes. So as previously mentioned. As as okay, more of this. There, there's the summary. Good. What? We'll analyzing the data right away. That data is encrypted. You'll need to stand by it for a moment until I can access it. Uh, okay. TMA, Von Valkenstein. Done. All right, I'll need more data to find our operative. Too many acronyms. It's what you say when you don't know an acronym that someone has said. Uh, I mean, probably not, honestly, Nerdman. I would have been more inclined towards doing so. What the hell is Star Trek Adventures? Oh, that! Uh, probably not, no. You have to get him out of there. Running out of time. Try to recover as much data as possible before you leave. So, put simply, Nerdman, a few years ago I would have been more inclined. Well, when I say a few, I mean like five years ago. I would have been more inclined to do a, a audit run of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And while I'm not going to say absolutely no right now, it's a lot less likely. And if you're wondering why, well, look at the website, look at the queue, and the list. This area is becoming unstable. The simulation is collapsing. Get out now! What if he'd let me? Okay. Ooh, that's fast, too. Very good, but there's more assassins to save and more data to find. <laughs> if that was literally true, it wouldn't surprise me, Jaludo. But the assassin is more important. Death to the assassin. Got it. That is rule one of assassins. We need all the data we can find. Excellent. This could hold some major Abstergo secrets. The data is desyncing. You need to collect it or it'll be gone for good. That's how that works. I know we have to accept a lot in this game, but come on. The data's desyncing. They run around physically collecting it. Decrypting. Love it. This should come in useful. Yeah. What's funny is... Uh, I can't go up is the funny thing. What's funny is I've heard the actual developers say many times that they don't want to go any more forward than they already have. This should make our research even though I actually think there would be a lot of potential with doing so. Oh, don't mistake me. There's plenty of you know historical timelines they could work on too. Would you? T okay, fine. I, I give up. I give up. You win, game. But still, I think there's plenty of potential in more modern eras as well. Great find. I've said many times before the most modern I would probably go is the Great War, but. I think a great war Assassin's Creed game could work quite well. This one's encrypted. Wait. It would take a little ingenuity to make it work, but I think it could. That's no. Didn't realize you guys existed. This Excellent. This could hold some 
nature. Not much time now. I've been able to pinpoint our agent's location. I said, Derm. Operative located. I think you can make it work. The agent has been recovered. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that at this point we have a lot of creative. <sighs> How do I phrase it? Creative disagreements problems going on with the AC staff. Some people think X could work, some people think Y could work, and they can't agree on it. Comes from deep within the 10 and there's left. probably some, you know, political infighting going on. It's preventing that from Five going seconds. anywhere. Three, two, one. Get to the exit now. Well, because office politics are fun. Jump! your help. Anyways, why what? I'm sorry, Mitch Connor. Unless you mean why internal politics, in which case you've never worked in an office space, have you? <laughs> yeah, I would be extremely surprised if we don't see a J Japanese or Eastern based uh, Assassin's Creed game almost entirely due to the, uh, due to the success of Ghost of Tsushima. on you to save our operative somewhere in the simulation and now we've got those to deal with that's cool i'm cool we're losing that data try to reach it before it's gone completely what do you think i'm doing the puzzle well done wait this data is encrypted this data comes from deep within the helix well done isn't that what they call it torpedo alley No, not Tornado Alley. Torpedo Alley. Excellent. This could hold some major Abstergo secrets. Oh, hey, it despawned it. Good. Our techs will start analyzing the data right away. That's fair. Running low on help. I wouldn't get into any fight. Assassin position triangulated. He's free. Well done. You found him. Nicely done. We need all the data we can find. Hang on, I gotta outrun a tornado here, guys. Give me a sec. are never safe in the helix though so help them when you can are these infinite like they're still escalating
Now it looks like it is still escalating. Alright, whatever. There's another one, too. Sell me all the things. Good morning, I say, Ross. Okay, that makes sense, Pocket Jasmine. Let's grab that one. I mean, it's a Napoleonic belt, it's gotta be good. It sounds like an awesome idea, Gum Gum. Sorry. Though, generally speaking, I would actually advise you, for at least for your initial stuff, to uh, write out rather than in. You know, move the timeline forward. These are very expensive. Yeah, smoke bombs are OP in a lot of these. I actually have. <laughs> legitimately tried not to use them simply because they are that OP. Oh no, it's not so much plan them out as if, let's say you do a story here, and then you do a story here, and then you do a story here. It's like, well, now you've, you've already established precedence, and you've already established what happens over here, so this has to take them into account, as well as the story you just did, and yada yada yada. So basically, you can either map everything out initially, which is what I do, or you can move forward, which is normal storytelling at that point. I'm gonna ask a dumb question. Is revive speed mean anything outside of the co-op? Okay, that's what I thought. gear to buy. Almost a weirdly large amount of gear. Yes, I did, a couple of years ago, Mr. Reloaded. Why do you ask? Aw. It's like I can't unlock the other outfits. That is an awesome outfit, by the way. There's, I want that outfit in real life, and I've considered buying it a few times. I'm also okay with that one. So, I figured my answer would answer you, Mr. Reloaded, but to answer in thorough, no. It's expensive.
Dude, I, I'm not that much into Rogue, but I love his outfit, unironically, unjokingly. That, that is a nice outfit right there. I would love to wear an outfit like that on a regular basis. Initiate chest in Paris, huh? Well, right now I'm struggling. Oh, by the way, are we on for tomorrow, Mr. Reloaded? Just making sure. No, there will be no new rumination. The old one exists, the old one is done. Thank you very, very much, Command and Conquer 2. As always, much obliged, sir, and or madam. I don't suppose you know where you want that one to go. Mass Effect 1? Question mark. Aw. Apparently it's not just something I can go out and whoops and accidentally close the wrong document. And get. Thankfully I saved that document habitually, so I didn't lose any progress there. I was gonna go and roam the world and the city and, you know, find this outfit, but apparently I just have to do initiate stuff. I haven't even unlocked yet, I don't think. I wouldn't call Arno a copy of Ezio. I would call Arno a disinteresting character. Regardless of any other factors involved therewith. I mean, you know, Westwood gotta represent Bioware. It makes sense to me, von Valkenstein. There is a Command and Conquer on the list. Command and Conquer 3 is on the list. And I thought Red Alert 3 was on the list as well, but that just might be on my list, not the list. I could be wrong. Hang on. You know what, I'll split the spreadsheet. A lot easier to just check it that way. Mm. No, it is right there. Red Alert 3 is actually on the list. Someone started funding it. So there you go. I mean, it's probably because it was written that way, Trihexia, and it makes perfect sense. The, the entire point of a light side Sith is it's someone who is not dogmatic. A light side... So you encounter light side Jedi who are dogmatic, and dark side Sith who are dogmatic. And they're both just kind of... dumb. <laughs> so that's probably why you're getting that vibe. Um... I've got missions upon missions. I'm not even sure what to do next. What would I do if no one was here? What are these? Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. knew you were secretly a Templar, Magic Vanilla. It's okay. Someday I'll take over the Templar Order and turn it into a bunch of Hathams and instead of a bunch of bait... Uh, uh, oh, get up! Please get up, man! Hey, you shut up! Excuse me, cheer, jeering crowd. Really? Of course, Magic and Guys, we have a Borgia lover. I think you know what to do. Make it quick. I'm not here to torture people to death. These people are here to torture people to death. Yes, even De Borgias love De Borgias a little bit too much. Just a little. No, no, it's okay, Pocket Jasmine. They don't have any interest unless you marry into the family. Then you gotta, you know, watch out. I mean, if you think about it, hiding your chest of valuables on the roof makes a degree of sense. On the one hand, how many people are going to go to your roof to rob you? On the other hand, you will all, if you're home, you'll hear them because they'll be stomping around on your roof. Uh, I don't remember Zach Daff, but I believe the website knows. Oh yeah, and the rain is a perfect way to get rid of inflation by ensuring that your money gets destroyed. It covers all the variables. I legitimately don't remember what's next after the ACs, though. I know we've still got—we're still in the big block, and we will be for at least two months. Like I anticipate, we'll finish the long block when we get through March. That's why it's the long block. Thirteen percent of the galaxy. That's pretty impressive. Beats Star Trek. Where the hell am I? the mandatory skill. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Oh god, I went to the wrong location, that's why. Let's 
Silly me. I mean, I don't see why it's not a valid criticism, Raven King, but it's not the kind of thing that bugs me personally. It's easy to understand, too, at least from a perspective of someone who lives in the States. All you have to do is think... Imagine if you you have a game set in the United States, and... And everyone there speaks like this. No matter where they're from, whether they're up north or up south or on the west coast or east coast, every single person in the whole country talks like this. And that would kind of get across the, the relative equivalence, I think. How much it bothers you is up to you, of course. I just think you need to be aware of the fact, Mr. Rawls, I'm from California, and this is how I talk over there. Not really, but I, I did live in California for a while. This is also how people talk in Missouri. New York. Chicago. Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling him the penitent. I take it justice has been done? Not entirely. Sivert had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de la Serre's murder. How do you know that? Killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Sivert met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand then? The Phantom Blade. A modest little update from the traditional assassin's blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then. Assassin, this council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Tunes. Learn his secrets and bring him peace. Yeah, I was gonna say, this Assassin's Council is not impressing me so much. Mm -hmm. So this is the poison dart. Okay. Good to know. Um... Godspeed. Over here. Yeah, no. the vantage point or is that it way over there that's it isn't it way over there ah, whatever whatever hey. 
What? Didn't land on you, lady. No, slur attack. <laughs> it's not even a funded run yet. But you can play games off camera. Wait, what? But no, is the answer to your question. camera I sleep and I eat and exercise I may even get groceries tomorrow believe it or not that's not a guarantee yeah I, I, I wasn't gonna say anything Commander Cocker you know French people like their French things like public body wrestling You guys, uh... I guess I should loot. Uh, wow, these guys were really hungry. I mean, I know that starvation was an issue at this point historically, but damn. right about now. Well, here's hoping, S.A. Ross. Assassin's Creed Unity hasn't crashed yet, which means it totally never will. Thank you for watching my show, S.A. Ross. It's way over there. Oh, right, 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 right. There we go. Letters, letters, letters. I don't know what you're talking about, Dr. Winter, so I'm going to lean towards a no. medicine back. Ooh, and some beer. Glug, glug, glug. Oh. 
Excuse me. Oh, red skull. There it is. Merci. Medicine. Nous avons assez attendu. On va venir vous chercher. So what you're saying, Raven King, is they were all pure evil, and we should treat them as if they were literally Nazis. Like they were actually Nazis who came back in time in order to kickstart the French Revolution. Because yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable to me. Hey! Stay there, Sazen! Oh, don't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> One of my favorite historical accounts is a... it was a newspaper article revealing the results of a poll. This poll was, who were the, who did you consider to be the most evil people in history? Several of the... how do I say this? Um, Nixon beat out Hitler. This poll happened pretty much immediately in the wake. Of, uh, interesting. Of, uh, that, uh, of Watergate. Yeah, timing. Right. I'm in the wrong area. I was just speaking of historical bi bias. Can we leave modern day politics out of this? Entirely. No, it is completely ridiculous. That's the point. I was just pointing out how current pot and bias has been a thing since at least, what is that, the 70s? And that we have documented evidence of. something, gum gum. If you really need me to look up an exact date, I can. What? Like, I was like, oh, I could do this. No, I totally cannot do this. 100% can't do that. Not even gonna try. We're done. Moving on. how low texture those are. Or low res those textures are. And by love, I mean, god, that looks terrible. Yeah, I can't even do that yet. Who the heck is Buck Rogers? Yeah. 
is my answer to you, Gumpin. Uh, probably none of them, honestly, Tesla. They all have some issues with them. And it's not like I use any more of those... I mean, I still use the intro videos, I guess. That's valid. But, uh... I don't really have a need for backgrounds anymore. So the need is less. Huh. I could grab some Odyssey ones someday. I already have 50. fit a lot of different types of games, Dakota. A lot of different genres, I mean. I will admit, and I've said this before every time we've streamed Assassin's Creed in the past, if I had the ability to actually view the real past, I would take that in a heartbeat. Not an account, not an interview, not a document, just actually being there and witnessing it. You know, as long as I don't have to live with the limitations of the time. You know what I mean? Done. I mean, that's not exactly a trait exclusive to America in general, but especially at that point in history, as a Ross. As recently as the... As, as less than a century ago, countries were still taking territory from other countries. And I'm just talking about Austria. Ooh, that's a good one. Making a wish list. Like, obviously, I'd want a few all of history but like where do you start right so like what, what's your what's your top picks for history to, to view what do you hit first kind of a deal right excuse me yeah, okay, fine. Camp camera, would you stop? Oh my god, I kind of want to see the guys who are hitting me. Camera? Camera! Oh my god!
Uh, no, no, no. What's the button to pull up the... Never mind, I found it. It is Z. Tunes Lieutenant Atouche. Oh god, I don't want to watch this. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look. <sighs> Lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Tunes is in that. A bit of trivia, an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time, oh no. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse Francois, Marquis de Sade. Do pay me a visit. When you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. Now that's proper creepy right there. Ugh. Yikes. Nights are getting cold again. You don't seem worried. I know where the chimneys are. What chimneys? The ones his grace had put in when he took over down below. Sleep on one of those. You'll be as warm as a baby now. Oh, hey, tailing missions. Let's see how bad this game's tailing missions are. I admit that would probably be one of mine, Eseros. Not that I question the validity of the version of it that we are told, just that, yeah. You talk? Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no patriot. You won't get away. I'm not trying to get away from you, you idiot. A 
Okay, you guys know me in the Great War. I, a lot of my first picks would probably be around then. The sadness is one of the other moments I would want to know most is one that, last I checked... Did to Thierry. I remember the man's screams and how long they lasted. And that was for an accounting error. You're joking. I thought he'd skimmed off the take or some such. Nope. He misplaced a one in a ledger. Right. Double time it is. Nice guy. Um... The... The Bronze Age Collapse. It's possible that people have since sussed that out. Lord knows that people keep figuring out new truths about history all the time, but last I checked, we still don't know what actually caused the Bronze Age collapse. And narrowing that down and then, you know, perceiving and learning about it, that would be pretty high on the on my list for first picks. Actually, Get him inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside. I've actually told that story before, Gum Gum, but it was my mother. Specifically, she's been a trekker or a trekkie or whatever you want, word you want to use for uh, longer than I've been alive. Oh, I find World War II absolutely fascinating, but I just find the Great War more fascinating, that's all. Plus, if I was to study World War II, I'd probably study, you know, anything other than the big things at this point. Pardon me. Seven Years' War is another fascinating one for me, I'll admit it. And not just because of my nationality. We've all we've argued several times argued. Discussed several times what qualifies as the first really global conflict. My entry for that has always been the Seven Years' War. Dead. Now I need you to go down, Arno. Down. There you go. Good boy. I love how quick the stealth assassinations are in this one, by the way. Just. A little more in my range. Great Northern War. That's another one I'd look into. Sweden. And pretty much directly connected to that, the War of Spanish Succession. I will admit, I have no idea why I find war history so fascinating. I've actually asked myself that question several times. And I don't have a good answer for it. I always have. 
literally I became interested in history as a direct consequence of becoming interested in war history. It was war history before it was history. Don't mistake me, I find history history fascinating. Cultural stuff, economic stuff, shifts of language, being called a bloody conservative, not being able to stab a guy while he's down for some reason. Oh, I wouldn't, Gunga. Unless you're talking about the one from TOS, the TNG, in which case, again, I wouldn't. Although, we need to decide how we're doing that when we get there. Eh, probably not, Tesla. I don't really have any interest in that. Not my wheelhouse. Shoot? Okay, not gonna shoot. That's cool. I didn't actually want to shoot. I was just thinking, shoot. You know, it's it's a, it a thought exercise semi regularly. Would you stop shooting me? Take my camera away from me during combat. Which I'm not super fond of. You down here? Let's get some of my bombs back. Some of my health back. Yeah, the only reason I really loot, unless I have to for money, like I'm really low on money, is to get my items back. loot. Okay. Now, excuse me. I have a date. This guy. <gasps> Bye, asshole. How did you get up here? for the unfortunate in bed six. Horribly burned in a fire that killed his family and drove him mad. A burn job? Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning half the district to ash? Use a few drops of the strong acid. Layman can't tell the difference. Um. Can I... St it's not letting me... Okay. 
it literally will not let me kill the guy pouring acid over his face. That's all. and I'll spare you your life. The Carcos! He's at the Carcos, but he filled church! <gasps> Latouche, I expected a stronger spine than yours. What will your master say? Oh, God! Lord, help me! Can I please stop this guy? I mean, I can't even shoot. And then I killed the guy pouring acid on the other guy's face. The end. figure out what's wrong with my inventory equipment in about an hour. <laughs>